Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, two commands, I can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it's non technical. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but under under Photoshop, uh, you, you would just say, like, you, know, you would just select anything that you wanted to delete, like you say, and then you would just delete it. But you can't do that. Mm, yeah, I mean, yeah, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's basically, yeah. I mean, um, I mean, I'm sure there's got some issues with, like, yeah, they can't make it. Be too similar to Correct. Photoshop. No, yeah, 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 you know what, I, I put uh, LibreOffice on my, on my mum's laptop and I did actually just rename it Excel. <laughs> <laughs> she said she's opening Excel. <laughs> she's as happy as anything. She is. Yeah. It's all in the name. I was just thinking that, it's all in the name. So. But does anyone in the audience have any ideas how we can get UI people in the Yeah, world? I mean, we might as well you know, invite the whole camp. Well, true. I mean, is anybody who considers themselves more of a designer than a programmer? John. Well, <laughs> yeah, judging by the state of campfire manager at the moment, this morning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I hope everyone's read his T-shirt as well. That says, uh, "Was it? I, I hate programming. I hate programming. It works. I hate programming." <laughs> <laughs> that was well, pretty much like, half an hour this morning. Was just that. <laughs> about twenty minutes ago. Oh really? Was it? <laughs> oh, right. I'm having a great day. Yeah. Yeah. Aren't you glad you came to our camp? <laughs> Next year they can do it themselves. Yeah. Um, so nobody, nobody considers themselves a designer. I mean, uh, some, you, you, you do. The problem is when you're making your own websites, you want to make them work, and I find if you start working on design, you're there for hours just trying it out in different browsers and saying, oh yeah, it looks good here, but it looks crap on my phone, and it's just an absolute waste of time. You might as well get someone else to come in and say, well, this design works, well, this doesn't, and keep the design process separately. Well, that's the thing, yeah. I mean, yeah, we end up in a position where we're having to pay for designers. You look at the stuff that VLC's been doing, it's, they're, they're having to raise money to pay for designers. If you want your product, you make, you're a good programmer, you make a fantastic product, but it looks like arse. <laughs> so I'm trying to not swear. But <laughs> it looks like arse. And, and yeah, it is. And you've got to then probably raise some money because you're not, not going to find a designer around who will come and just go, oh yeah, no, I can make this pretty for you. Because they have to buy their own MacBooks. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's it's part of the problem that the contribution process is just far too difficult for designers to get involved in. Uh, so I, I would agree Barrett's with that. Rangering. I would agree with that maybe a year ago, but GitHub's been making yeah. huge, huge ways to get get more people able to contribute to stuff without needing to understand how Git works. Yeah, absolutely. So the fact, yeah, now, if you if you can see an issue in a file, you can now just click edit. It will fork the repo completely, and then create a patch from what you've edited. You can, you can do pretty much everything you want to do in GitHub. Yeah. You, can, you can fork, you can edit, you can, I mean, uh, if any of you went to Nathan's talk earlier, he was showing that you can have 3D modeling files that you can view that in the browser in GitHub. So you upload the, the SDR file that represents your, your 3D um, thing that you're trying to uh, you know, turn into an actual product. And GitHub will just go, oh, it's a 3D item. And then we'll give you a little display and you can scroll around it and look at it and you know, it's like, you know, GitHub has entirely removed the need for Git. <laughs> well, There's a couple of people over there. I think uh, contributing uh, open source, uh, it, if I'm fixing a bug, that's easy, right? I have to check out the code, I fix the bug, I add a test to show that it's fixed and I send them on. Uh, something like design though requires getting feedback, like you know, trying out maybe AB, putting it out in front of people, yeah. you know, finding out if it actually works or not. It's a, di it's a different Different yeah, dichotomy, isn't it, really? There's a man with a very tall arm. Um, <laughs> so, I expect to be somewhat shot down here, but um, my suggestion might be that open source works really well if you're a developer. It makes your life easier. You get other people to look at your code, you get people to collaborate, you get someone to fix your bugs for you, to write, your, write that feature that you couldn't really bother to write, um, and to bounce ideas off. If you're a designer, it might not. And 
as a room full of developers or not designers, we can't really say. As a designer, that probably might not be what you're looking for when you're doing your work. Mm. You might just want to be, right, this is Tim's design, I'm only doing this, nobody's getting in my way. It's interesting. Um, my vision. So, um, so it's essentially what you're saying, designers work better in isolation. I, I don't know. I'm not yeah. But no, I, 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 in my experience, experience the fact that they're not here brings everyone yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 or they're in another talk. Yeah. I think, I think, I think as, as the guy there was saying, I think it is, it's, it's a different, it's a different concept that perhaps a lot of us here sort of, uh, I wouldn't say find difficult, but sort of perhaps don't understand in the sense that they're dealing with, with something visual, you know, does that look visually nice as opposed to something that's been developed or, or designed, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. Then why not have a system that's, you know, thinking out of the box there, why not have a, an online system like GitHub, where it has a visual representation and people can collaborate on how it looks. Well that's a good idea. Together. Yeah. Kickstart. Let's do it. <laughs> well, yeah, no, but essentially you're what right, you're saying is you, you, no, you're don't, a, we can't do kick because you want to call it freaky starter or something. No, like like that. Anal rape. Anal rape. rape. <laughs> yeah, 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 just for laugh. <laughs> just for the giggle, yeah. So what you're saying is you need Git to be redesigned to get designers in. Well, yeah, well, it's the same with GIMP as well. The only way you can get more designers is from GIMP is to get more designers in <laughs> to use GIMP. But um, I think online collaboration is probably the way forward. So essentially what you need to do then is a project developer, you would submit your requirements and say, you know, would you be able to mock up something that looks awesome that I can... That's, yeah, that's if, if you, you had like a sort of a drag and drop in the place and go, right, I want stuff here, I want buttons here, yeah. or this bit here. You want that to come down there. Fill in this bit. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That might work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I thought you didn't sign those files. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just you just got any children in the room. Still. Uh Charlie is in there. Oh uh, yeah. Oh it's only it's only the bad way. Yeah. Yeah, you pissed them off, didn't you? That's why they've left. Go on. I guess uh how do you prevent then a situation where you get designed by committee? Because like, that's one of the yeah. things that Apple's really good at is and it's because they kinda of have that dictatorship, they can kind of come up with a, a vision overall and make sure that all the parts conform to it. But a lot of failures in design are around a whole like too many contributors yeah. with divergent views. So how do you mean? It's a it's a good point. It's a good point. I mean I'll give you a classic example from from a personal experience of work. Um, when I first joined the company I worked for, they were they were printing off business cards on a HP printer onto card and then cutting them up with a guillotine. <laughs> right. And uh, we didn't have a brochure, we used to print something off in Word. Oh no, that would be fine. <laughs> um, so I said, no, no, you know, come on, we've got to be professional. And so um, I designed a brochure. Uh, and it was a case of, you know, I, as everybody else, I thought this brochure was really good. I, you know, I'm really pleased with this, it's come out really well. And then of course you got, well, I don't really like the blue on that. And then it was like, oh. I don't really like this, so yeah, you're Isn't right. Isn't that typical white shit? Anyway, it sounds like, sorry, what's your name? You're, uh, Chris Kozak. Chris Kozak, okay. So, yeah, um, it, it's typical white shitting. It doesn't sound any different from white shitting. Any other, uh, white shitting is a, a term that we use in London Hack Space. You're familiar with it. It's, it's, okay, no, so, so, so on, the, on the mailing list, <laughs> essentially, essentially somebody, somebody comes along and says, we should build a bike shed because uh, everybody needs a bike shed to put their bikes in. And somebody goes, Okay, that's a good idea. What kind of material should we make it out of? You know, should we bend a bit of metal or should we make it out of wood or whatever? And somebody says, that's a great idea. Why don't we also make it pink? And somebody says, no, that's a terrible idea. Yeah. I want to make it blue. And somebody says, well, why don't we put a plastic roof over it? And it, nothing ever gets done because too many people are making not making decisions and just raising extra things until you've got a bike shed that's got wings and engines and it can take off and fly around London. You know, <laughs> we'll do a Kickstarter on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm bike shedding, I, mean, I use it a lot of work I, on the project at the moment, and then people come up and say, well, pff, I don't like the colour of that button. And it's like, let's just get it done, and then we'll worry about that sort of stuff. And, you know, and, and yeah, as you say, you need somebody decisive to be able to come up and say, screw you guys, it's going to go this way. I, I, you know, or at least, sorry, I, I think we should actually build something first. And, 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 and we can apply that in the same way to design as well, but yeah, you just... Surely that's not, is that not on the onus of whoever's setting up that project? It should be, yeah. Yeah. And I've, I've done that with the uh, Matrix space as well, but it's just something, yeah, we want to 
do more uh, questionnaires about what we should do with the funding and all that sort of stuff. And I look, look, we've done about three dozen questionnaires by now. Let's just do it. Yeah. <laughs> it just needs somebody, one person, to stand up and just say, do it. Forget all the rest. We need it done because otherwise we're going to be here all, all year. <laughs> do you have a question, Marcus? Uh, pretty much going to say what Chris has found at the um, yeah. Have have we solved this problem as programmers with too many uh, chefs in the kitchen? Mm. And it's just the project leader says, fuck you, we'll do it my way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and we just need to do the same with clients. You need to choose the lead designer yeah. and just say, their work is God, so do what they say. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think then, you, you look at someone like um, Mo Jaffe from Red Hat. She's like the lead designer. Yeah. And why she says yes, sir. Yeah. She, the one, she works on Gnome as well, doesn't she? Yeah. Gnome have a very good philosophy of, um, you know, they, they want a thing and they do it and they, it's kind of suck it and see kind of thing. Yeah. Power button in Gnome shell and all that sort of stuff. But it's, you know, something just needs to be done and then we'll change it. Yeah. People don't like it, we'll change it. <laughs> but, then, but let's get it out the door first. But then you'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll get the inevitability of a group of people going, well, they're wrong. So let's let's split off and do our own. Yeah, well. well, this time we're strippers and blackjack. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's that's one of the one of the downsides. But they're more than welcome to do that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they, they have no. There's no issue with doing that. And then eventually, at some point, you'll go right. Okay, we can put this back together. Or somebody goes, well, yeah, it's completely incompatible. Yeah. And one one project or another just yeah, kind of dies off. That's just, yeah. just how it works. Yeah. Oh, an arm. Hi. Hi. Oh. I'm like the only designer in the room, I'm not sure. Yeah, you, it sounds like it. <laughs> I'm more of a graphic designer, so I yeah. do like logo branding um, brochures. And what you need for example, I think it might be more like user interface design. But have you considered that maybe the designers out there don't really care about the GIF in, in, in the sense that we use industry standard tools like Adobe? So there might not be any kind of incentive motive for us to contribute in that sense because we've already got tools and we're happy to. Yeah, and I think it probably comes back to a bit to be working in isolation. But it, is, it is an industry standard tool, but it's yeah. not a standard. And in free software yeah. community, it is about having standards you yeah, can integrate yeah, into. Yeah, no, 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 I know what you're saying. It's a good savvy tool. Yeah, yeah. For designers, we've already got something that we'd like to use, so we might not feel there's something to contribute because we're not going to get anything out of any Yeah, yeah. In fact, it would probably slow you down. Yeah, if you can switch Go back to what we use. Yeah, no, no. That, that, that's probably quite good whilst you're working for a big company and they're paying all your license fees. Yeah. So if you want to become a you know, an freelancer, yeah. you've then got to either... You really have to pay for the industry tools because even yeah. as a freelancer, yeah. if I wasn't to work for a company, there's, there's they really But you're, you're, could, so, can I, uh, so what are you effectively saying? You say, are you saying to me that you, you would need to use uh, Adobe, Adobe, was it CS5? Adobe yeah. CS5, yeah. 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 So the new one. Yeah, so, it's all are you saying that you would, you would you would have to use that product to produce your work? Are you saying that you it could not expensive. use? I'm not sure. If I could use. I, I could probably do it. Um, but you can't guarantee the quality. Sure, like, if CS went into a company and they um, and I bought my own computer in. Yep. And they would use the Adobe product, and I'd have to access like the design file. I don't know right now what's with both with InDesign. There's not an extra design with Adobe or something. I'm not sure. Of what sort? InDesign is a layout. <coughs> layout. Yeah. Or like. It's in. It's supposed to be something else. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, you want. I do contributions <coughs> for Knitwear magazine. Right. And my my editor actually specifically asks for things from Adobe. Yeah. Because it will just go straight into the yeah. layout. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it wastes their time. Yeah. 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 You're talking about standards. The standard yeah. for a, a bitmap graphic in the design industry or in, even in marketing is a PSD. So actually, it sounds like sorry. It sounds like what you're saying is that actually we need better compatibility standards within yeah. our tools. Yeah. That actually we need to make sure that if you've been given